Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about the technology in classroom. Nowadays, we as a human being in Industrial 4.0 and technology are inseparable. However, the term of technology itself has a few meanings. The first one is technology as an object, which means tools, machines, instruments, uh, appliances, etc. And the second is technology as knowledge. It is the know-how behind the, technolog the technological breakthroughs of, or innovations. The third is technology as activities related to the skills, method, procedures, uh, routines, and everything that people do. And the fourth is technology as process, beginning with the needs and ending with the solution. And the fifth is technology as social technical problem. So people start, start thinking about the term of technology in teaching and some of them uh, found themselves in puzzle. They, they are still confused about that uh, because the uh, technology classroom is often considered as computer technology that is used in classroom. Because, but actually, in reality, the technology is not only about the computer or digital digital advices used in the class, but it encompasses everything that facilitates the interaction happen between the teachers and also the students. And the example of that, it can be the audio tapes, uh, video, and the computer itself. Um, I'm going to talk about the history a little, a little bit. And in 1950s and 1960s, technology was firstly found, uh, firstly conducted in the language classroom, exactly in form of LL or language uh, laboratory. There were many uh, rooms at that time equipped with the installation of the tape deck booths so that students could listen to the native speakers modeling the exercises of the recent day's lesson. Also, students could record their own voice on the track of tape provided so that, could that, so that they could compare their uh, pronunciation with, the, with what they hear or what the native speaker said. All right, so uh, the turn of the LL or language laboratory um, was being an incredible innovation in language learning. That was being a great expectation that carried the education to be better. Although the but even though that was a that was being a, a good a great expectation, the result was found that students were not being transformed into a good communicatively proficient speaker. So they were not uh, be able to speak to each other or they communicate properly. So there were, there, there were must be some disadvantages of this new kind of media or aids. And after that, <clears throat> there were uh, the arrival of the personal computer in 1980s, educational uh, staff such as a teacher, instructor, and also the educator uh, who work in the language teaching field had the same expectation as before in the uh, in the what is it? arrival of the the turn out of the what is it? They they have the same expectation as the LL language laboratory so uh, uh before we are going further to do the explanation that will be focused on the call or the computer assisted language learning we have to know about the other types of technological aids or media that commonly exists in today's language learning or language teaching so the first one is non-computer based technology back through the time about a hundred years, hundred years ago, uh, there were classroom that had more than only a piece of chalk and chalkboards as teaching aids. So the non-computer based technology is uh, something that we use in the classroom, but it requires or needs the electricity. Some of the old technology is still useful 
in this era of industrial 4.0. Consider some of these perfectly useful, instructive, and convenient technologies. <coughs> um, the first one is commercially produced of audio tapes and CDs. It is surprising for some people that uh, we still using we are still using the audio tapes and also the CDs because uh, of some reason. The first one is might be because of the um, the the price. It is affordable and cheaper, so that uh, we still use it. Furthermore, the old materials may be still be effective. <clears throat> um, the thing that is important of using the audio tapes or CDs, it is because the the storage. Um, the CD has a greater CD or compact disc has a greater accuracy, durability, and storage capacity compared with the tape. And an advantage of both audio tapes and also the CDs is that they can uh, be used for self-study beyond the language classroom. CD can be played by putting the CD on the CD room or through the CD player. All right, usually the library and instructional resource center provide variety of the audio cassettes with a great number of collection. Of course, including the CDs with the listening exercise, lectures, stories, and many other authentic samples of native speaker text. The second one is commercially produced video tapes and DVDs. Uh, actually, this kind of aids or medias is kind of same with the CDs and tapes, but it provides or it presents the uh, visual no, uh, kind of different with the CDs, which only provide or uh, produce the sound. With the same similar reason as the replacement of tapes with CDs, the decreasing cost. DVDs or digital video disc give the similar benefit, like I said before. Many institutions still maintain video tapes library with a huge number of collection of DPD. Among some possible categories are documentaries in special topics, movies, films, new medias, and program design, especially for instruct student, for instruct students on certain aspects of English. And the third is self-made audio tapes and CD. It's kind of same with the CD or audio tapes, but uh, it is self-made. I mean, by by using this kind of aids or media, we can uh, record our our self, our our voice, or we can uh, record uh, on the radio, so we can get so that we can get we can get the material from the authentic, non authentic material. Yeah. And the fourth is self-made video tapes and DVD. Like I said before, in the self-made audio tapes or CD, it's kind of same as well. And with this kind of uh, aids, we need a camera. And the digital camera are also accessible, right, in nowadays. So that it makes the video tapes recorder look like a fossil. Uh, with this kind of media, we can improve our, um, our teaching and learning process. Um, which we can ask the student to do uh, some kind of exercise that uh, video making, for example, we can ask the student to make the film, movies, or etc. They can record their self, their, their pronunciation, their practicing English. And we not all, we, at the same time, we're not only enhance the skills, uh, they, their skills in speaking, but also we can enhance their life skill in video makings and acting maybe. And the fifth is overhead projection. The turn out of computer, computerized visual uh, presentation like uh, PPT or PPT through the most, uh, it is kind of uh, dominating software known at this time. Uh, this overhead projection is still 
uh, exist in the world. They, there are uh, many classrooms around the world provide an overhead transparency projector as a standard equipment. It is really helpful, uh, helpful since it can enhance a textbook lesson. Our own charts, list, tables, graphic, and other visually presented material can be easily reproduced and delivered through the physical copy and the stimulating visual input for the students. It is commonly used since it can save paper. And that's it for the non-computer-based technology. For the next explanation about the computer-based technology will be explained by my partner. So pause this video, click the link above, or uh, you can find it on the link in the description. Okay, thank you for watching.